It is our first Rewind of the Week of 2021. It is January. It is cold. We are doing out cold. This is our movie. And we have largely selected this movie because it's, I think, Ash, you have seen it more than any other person. You know, I think about my favorite movie a lot, and I want to say it's Star Wars, or I want to say it's this or that. And the the amount that I've seen out cold is so embarrassing to the point where I think it actually might be my favorite movie. <laughs> it was it came out in 2001 and it was just such a 2000s movie. Yes, the jokes have not aged that great. Yeah, it's a little raunchy, but I just still love it so much. It has an 8% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes from critics, but an 84% audience rating. That is Quite. Quite the juxtaposition there. Quite the juxtaposition. I had never seen the movie before, and I knew nothing about it going into, other than the fact that you had told me it was about snowboarders, and there was a lot of Casablanca references. So I was like, what? So basically, it's just about a bunch of snowboarders in Alaska that want to save their mountain from, like, a buyer. It's like run-of-the-mill plot point um which is like a bunch of like chaos thrown in between really and it's like a riff it's an entire riff on Casablanca so there's so many references if you watch Casablanca and then watch this movie which I don't know how many people would do that but <laughs> I did it you did because I, cause I watched- feel like I recently watched Casablanca, so it was all fresh in my mind. And then I watched this movie and I was like, oh. (laughs) I just feel like the audience for Casablanca is like so posh and they are not going to go watch 2001's Out Cold. (laughs) It had Zach Galifianakis in it. And he is now the most famous person in it. But at the time, he was like no one. It's his first major supporting role. And I think what's wild is he, it's like him and his brother Pigpen in the movie. And Pigpen is like really the comedian of the movie, not Zach Galifianakis. He's the one that kind of gets messed with the whole time. But like when Anna sees Luke for the first time to like, and asks him to play their song, that's from Casablanca. Of all the bars and all the ski towns in Alaska, why'd she have to come to this one? Of all the gin joints and all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. There's a scene where they have like a ball where they're like trying to get fancy and Rick's wearing the white basically suit from Casablanca. And then at the end, when he sends Anna away and he's like, you're getting on that plane. Look, we'll always have Pedro Hornies, right? We'll always have Paris. The cast was just like Jason London, AJ Cook, Willie Garson, Zach Galifianakis, like you mentioned, David Koechner, Flex Alexander, David Demon, and Thomas Lennon. Like the cast was stacked with just people that were like about to hit their peak. And not only that, the soundtrack was the best I movie was soundtrack. I was really surprised at how great the soundtrack was. Also that they played Baby Got Back twice. They did. And they play Island of, uh, Islands in the Sun like 10 times. It's gonna kill me. Thank you. The song at the beginning, Eve Six is Anytime. Great song, arguably Eve Six's best song, uh, Don't Fight Me. But that song is only available on that soundtrack. You cannot find it anywhere else. You cannot find it on streaming apps or anything like this. And I uh, tweeted at Eve Six one day. Actually, it was really recently. It was over the break. And I asked them, I was like, why can't I get Anytime? That is such a great song. And they said that they have to re-record it because they don't know who owns the master. Oh my gosh, this is like some Taylor Swift level some drama. Taylor Swift, I know, I know. There are tons of other little scene stealers in this movie and I know you have the inside scoop. Yeah, one of my favorite ones, uh, it's kind of weird, is Barry, who is Anna's like fiance, is played by Todd Richards, who is a, actually a professional snowboarder and was a member of the 1998 US Olympic snowboarding team. That's him right there! And was probably the only one on that entire set that was capable of actually getting on a snowboard and played someone that was in a wheelchair the whole movie. So we never got to see his his skills. Oh, yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> and then Louis Arquette, who played Pop- Papa Muntz, this was actually, I'm sure he loved this, his final film. Uh, he died nine months before the f- uh, film's release. So this was his final performance as Papa Muntz with his pants down uh, in the 2001 snowboarding movie, Out Cold. And you know what? You know what? That's a great legacy. I'm loving that. <laughs> Luke and Pigpen get evicted from their house like at some point in the movie and they, the new like 
workers put the eviction notice on their door. And it says they live at 132 Crazy Woman Creek Boulevard and owe $1,422. We rule. <laughs> but the question I always want, will we ever get an Al Cold 2? Will we ever get an Al Cold 2? I want to know when Al Cold 2 is happening. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, that's a good. That's not a bad movie. No, it's one of my favorite movies. We've it's, talked about. That. I know it's not. It's it's actually the shelf life on that is not bad. I mean, who doesn't like a snowboarding movie with Lee Majors, Majors in it? Exactly. I'm not kidding. My favorite movie, Out Cold. These are deep cuts. I love Out Cold. Uh. <laughs> you like snowboarding movies with uh, Lee Majors in it? Yes. I have people come over and I put on Out Cold and we play a drinking game and then we go up. That is my life. <laughs> it's people. People like that movie. I, I like that movie too. I'm just trying but to get a I sequel. I just to never happen. really talked to anybody about it. Yeah. I've never really had a conversation about uh, that movie. Well, here we are. All right. Do you really like it? I'm going to quiz I you on it. I swear to God. I'm trying to remember something about it. Okay. I have a scene with an animal. Yes. It's a polar bear. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode of Stream Queens. Uh, but we want to know, were you were you an Al Cold fan? And if not, what was your quintessential early 2000s movie? Let us know. And what was your ultimate holiday binge that you watched over the break? Let us know using that hashtag Stream Queens, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.